Hey class, are you ready to have some fun? Today's topic is the article. Hey, what is the article anyway? Well, it's actually three simple words, A, N, N, the. Did I say the letter A is a word? Yes, I did. It's both a letter and a word in the English language. Articles are used before nouns or noun equivalents and are a type of adjective or determiner. A and N are referred to as indefinite articles. The word the is referred to as the definite article. The definite article, the, is used before a noun to indicate that the noun identity is understood. The indefinite article, a and an, is used before a noun that's generally or when its identity is not known. There are a number of situations in which a noun requires no article before the noun. We use a the before a singular or plural noun and there's something else you need to know. When we use a definite article before a consonant, it sounds more like the. Not the, not the, but the. When we use a definite article before a vowel sound, it's pronounced more like the. Not the, but the. Remember your vowels and consonants in the alphabet? Well, your vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, you. Examples with words beginning with a consonant and the could be the book, the car. Here are a few examples with words beginning with a vowel and the definite article the. The apple, the elephant, the ice cream, the orange, the umbrella. You see, vowels a, e, i, o, u. When we use the word the before those vowel sounds, it sounds more like the. So when do we use the indefinite article n instead of just the letter a? With vowels, a, e, i, o, u. Here are a few examples. An apple, an elephant, an ice cream, an orange, an umbrella. Count nouns refer to things and people that can be counted and are either singular or plural. Non-count nouns refer to things that are not countable and are always considered singular. However, just about everything in English is countable with a little help and partitives. You most likely use partitives daily. Often, quantifiers in partitives are studied together. Quantifiers like some, any, much, many, a lot, a few are all common quantifiers in English. A few partitive examples are a bottle of water, a can of soup, a flock of birds, a box of cereal. In these examples, you notice the letter A before each partitive. It simply means one. That makes water, soup, cereal, and a whole bunch of birds countable in a bottle, can, box, and group. The is the most commonly used word in the English language. Hey, why is that anyway? First, it's used with both count and uncount nouns. It's short and it provides a simple function. The is commonly used for common statements. An example might be, I'm going to the store. I could ask, which store? It's most likely the store we go to most often. Hey, that's a general idea, isn't it? Earlier I mentioned the word determiner. A determiner is a word placed before a noun. We use determiners to express quantities or to communicate what the noun refers to. Definite article, the, indefinite articles, a and n, demonstratives, this, that, these, those. Pronouns and possessive determiners, my, your, his, her, its, our, and their are all determiners. Numbers 1, 
10, 30 distributives, all, both, half, either, neither, each, every. There are more. Geographical names are confusing because some require the and some do not. Here are a few examples. Use the with United countries, large regions, deserts, peninsulas, oceans, seas, gulfs, and canals, rivers, mountain ranges, groups of islands. Here are a few examples. The Gobi Desert, the United States of America, the Sacramento River, the Aleutians, and the Great Lakes. You see how we took the United States of America. There are many states. These are groups, right? For rivers, the Sacramento River, we always put the before the name of a river. The Aleutians and the Great Lakes. Do not use the with streets, parks, cities, states, counties, most countries, continents, bays, single lakes, single mountains, and islands. As you can see, the is used many ways in English. Hey, I hope you had fun learning all about articles in English. You can see how they connect. That's it for today. Please do your homework. Hey, study the articles, stay safe, and see you next time. Class dismissed. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel.